Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss an important problem from differentiation under the integral sign, right? So here uh, in this session uh, we will solve this integral uh, using the concept of differentiation under the integral sign. So we have the integral uh, 0 to pi by 2 1 over cos square theta and log of 1 plus lambda cos square theta d theta where lambda is greater than minus 1 right so we are uh, we have already uh, discussed this concept in our earlier videos that is differentiation under the integral sign which is also known as the leibniz rule right so here i uh, will solve this problem uh, taking a lambda as a parameter so what we will do i uh, will differentiate this integral uh, with respect to uh, this parameter uh, lambda so let us first take this integral as i and we will find the derivative of i with respect to lambda so since uh, here we have uh, two parameters lambda and theta but we'll differentiate this uh, uh, integral i with respect to lambda only so we'll take the partial derivative of uh, i uh, with respect to lambda so we can uh, now write uh, del i over del lambda is equal to del over del lambda of 0 to uh, pi by 2 and here we have 1 over cos square theta and here we have log of 1 plus lambda cos square uh, theta uh, d theta right so now uh, we'll take this uh, operator that is del over del lambda inside the integral sign right so this is the concept behind the differentiation under the integral sign so we can now write 0 to uh, pi by 2 we have 1 over cos square theta and then we can uh, we can write del over del lambda over log of 1 plus lambda cos square theta and here we have d theta so now uh, we know that the derivative of uh, log of x uh, with respect to x is 1 over x right so here uh, we can now write uh, 0 to uh, pi by 2 and we have 1 over cos square theta and then the derivative of log 1 plus lambda cos square theta is 1 over 1 plus lambda cos square theta and then uh, by chain rule uh, we will differentiate uh, this uh, factor that is or this term that is 1 plus lambda cos square theta and d theta right so now uh, we have 0 to pi by 2 1 over uh, cos square theta and here we have 1 over 1 plus lambda cos square theta and here uh, the derivative of 1 plus lambda cos square theta so here uh, the derivative of 1 is 0 and cos square theta uh, is treated as a constant because we are differentiating uh, with respect to lambda so we have uh, simply here cos square theta because the derivative of lambda is uh, uh, 1 with respect to uh, lambda right okay and here we have d theta so now cos square theta and cos square theta get cancelled so we have uh, the integral 0 to pi by 2 and we have d theta over 1 plus lambda cos square theta right so now we have uh, del i over del lambda is equal to uh, this integral so now we have to evaluate this integral right so for this what we will do i uh, will divide the numerator and denominator uh, by cos square theta right so we have d theta over cos square theta divided by a 1 over cos square theta plus lambda cos square theta 
divided by cos square theta. So this can be written as 0 to pi by 2 and here we have 1 over cos square theta that is secant square theta and here uh, 1 over cos square theta is secant square theta plus lambda. So here cos square theta and cos square theta get cancelled. So now using a trigonometric identity here sec square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta right so we can uh, here write 0 to pi by 2 sec square theta will keep the uh, keep this term as such uh, secant square theta uh, d theta and we will replace sec square theta by 1 plus uh, tan square uh, theta in the denominator and here we have lambda so now we can uh, here uh, use uh, the method of uh, integration by substitution uh, by assuming uh, t is equal to uh, tan theta right so we'll make this substitution here to evaluate this integral so t is equal to tan theta so that dt over d theta is secant square theta the derivative of tan theta is sec square theta so we have dt is equal to uh, sec square theta d theta right so for this term uh, we uh, we can write dt and see the limits of integration vary from uh, 0 to pi by 2 so we can now uh, write uh, the limits that is when t uh, that is theta is equal to 0 then the value of t can be obtained from this expression so we have tan of 0 tan of 0 is 0 and when uh, theta is pi by 2 then t is tan pi by 2 that is not defined which is infinity right so now uh, del i over del lambda is equal to uh, the integral uh, 0 to pi by 2 so now we can write 0 to uh, infinity and sec square theta d theta can be uh, written as dt only and 1 plus uh, we have t square uh, plus lambda right so we can also write this integral as 0 to infinity dt and uh, uh, we can now write uh, 1 plus uh, lambda and here we can take the square root and here we can take the square right so that square root of uh, the square of uh, square root of 1 plus lambda is again 1 plus lambda and here we have t square so we have made this arrangement uh, so that we can apply this uh, standard result that is dx over a square plus x square uh, is given by 1 over a uh, tan inverse x over a right so now we'll uh, evaluate this integral uh, using this standard result that is integral 1 over a square plus x square is 1 over a tan inverse x over a so here uh, the value of a is uh, square root of 1 plus lambda and the variable x is our t right so now we can write del i over del lambda is equal to uh, here we have uh, the expression that is 1 over a right a is square root of 1 plus lambda and tan inverse uh, we have t over square root of a 1 plus lambda right and the limits of integration are from 0 to infinity so now substituting the limits here we have uh, here a square root of 1 plus lambda and when we take uh, t is equal to infinite uh, we can write tan inverse of infinity because this whole term uh, becomes infinity and here uh, when we take 0 then we have simply tan inverse of 0 so now tan inverse infinity is simply pi by 2 and tan inverse 0 is 0 
so we have 1 over square root of 1 plus lambda this is pi by 2 minus 0 so this is pi by 2 uh, times uh, square root of 1 plus lambda so we have del i over del lambda is equal to uh, this expression now this is a differential equation uh, in lambda and this is a variable separable form of differential equation so we can uh, separate the uh, variables and uh, we can solve this differential equation for i so now we can uh, write here a uh, di and uh, we have pi times d lambda separating the variables and here we have 2 times the square root of 1 plus lambda right now we can uh, integrate uh, both sides and here uh, we can take the constant of integration as c right so the integral di is simply i and here we have pi by 2 and integral uh, that is 1 plus lambda raised to minus half taking square root of 1 plus lambda to the uh, numerator right and here we have d lambda plus c now this is a very simple integral and we can solve it by method of substitution so let us take u is equal to uh, say a 1 plus lambda so that du is equal to uh, d lambda right so we have pi by 2 and here we have u raised to minus half d lambda is du plus c so this is pi by 2 and uh, here we can uh, use the standard result that is integral x raised to n dx is x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 provided n is not equal to minus 1. So here we have n is equal to minus uh, uh, 1 over 2. So we have u raised to minus half plus 1 minus half plus 1 and here we have c right. So now i can be uh, written as pi by 2. Here we have u raised to half 1 minus half is half and here 1 minus half is half. So this 2 and this 2 get cancelled. Here we have uh, plus c so we can now write i is equal to uh, pi times square root of u plus c right which can also be written as i is equal to pi times uh, u can be replaced by 1 plus lambda so we have square root of 1 plus lambda uh, plus c right so this is the solution of uh, this differential equation and now our aim is to get the value of this uh, constant of integration that is c by using the boundary conditions or the initial value uh, conditions. So now let us apply the conditions. So when uh, lambda is equal to uh, 0 then the value of i is equal to 0 right because see when we take uh, lambda is equal to 0 in our original integral i because here we have our original integral i so when lambda is equal to 0 i is 0 because uh, i is 0 to pi by 2 uh, 1 over cos square theta and we have log of see when we take lambda is equal to 0 then this term disappears Right? So we are left with only log of 1 and here we have d theta and log of 1 is equal to 0 and uh, remember uh, here we are taking the natural log. Right, So here the base of the logarithm is the exponential number e. So uh, log of 1 is equal to 0. So this quantity is 0. So i is equal to 0. Right? So we have this condition that is lambda is equal to 0. So i is equal to 0. So now we can write i is uh, here we can now write uh, 0 is equal to substituting these values in this equation. We have pi uh, square root of 1 plus 0 plus c. So that is equal to pi plus c because square root of 1 is 1. So pi times 1 is pi. Right? So c is equal to minus pi.
So viewers, the value of this constant of integration uh, c is equal to minus pi. So taking this value in this equation, uh, we have i is equal to pi times uh, square root of 1 plus lambda uh, minus pi, right? So this is the uh, value of uh, this integral uh, that is pi times square root of 1 plus lambda minus pi. So we can also write uh, this expression as pi taking pi common we have square root of 1 plus lambda minus 1. So this is the value of uh, this integral uh, for all values of lambda uh, that is greater than minus 1. So this is how by uh, the application of differentiation under the integral sign which is also known as Leibniz rule uh, we can evaluate these kind of integrals. Now suppose we have to evaluate this integral right so we can compare this integral with this one and when we compare this integral with this one then the value of lambda is equal to half which is obviously uh, greater than minus 1. So the direct value of this integral is pi times, uh, we can use this result. So we have pi times square root of 1 plus half uh, minus 1 because lambda is 1 over 2. So this is pi times, uh, that is 1 plus half is square root of 3 over 2 minus 1. So this is the value of this integral. Similarly, suppose we have to find the value of this integral that is 0 to pi by 2 1 over cos square theta log of 1 plus 3 cos square theta d theta. Now comparing this integral with this one, the value of lambda is equal to 3 and obviously uh, 3 is greater than minus 1. So the value of this integral can be directly obtained by using this result. So the result is pi and here we have square root of 1 plus lambda. So lambda is 3 and here we have minus 1. So this is pi times 3 plus 1 is square root of 4 minus 1 and this is pi and square root of 4 is 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So we have pi times 1 that is equal to pi. So the value of this integral is equal to pi. So we will, this is how by uh, taking different values of lambda, uh, fulfilling this condition, lambda is greater than minus 1, we can uh, evaluate uh, these kind of integral uh, using this direct formula.